Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on the fifth problem in the introductory problems in CSES, and it's called permutations. So let's look at it. It says a permutation of integers 1 through n is called beautiful if there are no adjacent elements whose difference is 1. So it says given n, construct a beautiful permutation if such a permutation exists. So all we want is the, so all we're given is the integer n, and then we have to design a permutation. Well, let's think about it for a second. So if we're given uh, all of these integers, right, and we want to make an O of n solution as it's a 10 to the 6th, um, seeing as odd numbers and even numbers are already two apart, how we could do this is simply by taking all the odd numbers, putting them at the front, and then putting all the even numbers, and then just making sure that the two odd and even numbers that are right next to each other have a difference of more than two. Another way we could do this is if uh, we have, let's say, if we go from like 1, 3, 5, and then start over, and then go from 0 or 2, 4, 6 at the end, as long as um, we have an integer greater than 3, no, because 1, 3, as long as we have an integer greater than 5, we should work up. And can want 4 do it? 4 if we have, uh, let's see, stick the notes. Uh, let's see. If we have 4, then we, or 1, we can't do it. 2, let's see, we can't do it at all. Uh, 3, uh, it says we can't do it. 4, um, let's see, we could go 1, 3, or 2, 4, 1, 3. So in this case, we could just put in all the even numbers at the front. And will this actually work for all the numbers? Let's see, 5, uh, 2, 4, 1, 3, 5. Yes, it will always work because of the 1. So let's implement this. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I forgot to show you guys as I was typing it along. I have this, so it should work out. Um, all right, so let's get right into programming this time. So first we make a directory and we made it awesome. And then oh, let me just put it. Here we go. Um, okay, so we made it and then we now need to make a Usico template file. We're gonna call it main again. And then we're going to get rid of the standard in and out because the sample inputs and outputs they give. Well, I mean we can always add it later. So let's see. We take in uh, long long value n because it's 10 to the 6 we take it in and then now what we can do is we can do one of one or two things we can either okay what we're going to do is we're actually going to make two strings uh, this might not be the fastest solution but if it's too slow we can always come up with a faster one at the end so what we're going to do is we're going to go from 1 all the way uh, to n. And then we just do i plus plus. Okay. So then if i mod 2 equals 0, then we can just actually just put it up. Uh, if i is less than or equal to 3, all we have to do is just see out no solution. And then return zero. Okay. And then we can just see out i because that's all we're doing. Uh, and then otherwise, what we have to do is we have to wait for the end to put the other ones in. So actually, we only ended up needing one string. But what we can do is string one plus equals i. or i plus space. Okay. And then at the end we just see out string one. Okay. So let's test this out. We just need to add it in. We have an input of just five. We press play. Oops. 
we are waiting for C line to reload. And then once that happens, ooh, we have an error. Oh man, what is it now? Oh, we did not define I. So what we need to do is define it as N instead. So now if we press play, and then we type in five, we get, ooh, we get some interesting stuff. And that's because I forgot to do two string on I, because that's still an integer, so it's adding as an integer. So then let's see if this takes a bit of time. So it shouldn't, because we're just adding a two, four, one through five, all of them are one apart. Now we can submit it. We make sure that we're not using any integers because integer overflow, and right here we are doing it. Good thing we waited caught it so now we just import main.cpp we add it and then let's see we have the wrong answer for number one let's see what we did on number one well apparently on number one you can just import a mean so if n is greater than if n is greater than one we can just do that for an exception for one let's make sure that we have it and no solution still. Uh, and there we go. And now we just have to submit it again. Submit it one more time. And hopefully, all right, we pass. So that's it for another episode of introductory problems from CSVS. If you'd like to see more, like, comment, subscribe. And if you have a better solution, make sure you guys comment. I might make a video. So see you later.